Hi friends, welcome to our channel. So in this video, we are going to discuss how to achieve multiple inheritance by using interface in Java. So already in one of our previous video, we have discussed about why Java does not support multiple inheritance and what is the solution. In case if you haven't watched that video, the link is available in the description. So please watch it. Also in our previous video, we have discussed about what is interface and how to use interface in Java. So that uh, link is also available in the description. So now let us get into this multiple inheritance by using interface. As we already familiar, Java does not support multiple inheritance. But if I want to achieve multiple inheritance, I will go for an interface. Let us write very simple program to explain how to use extends keyword and how to achieve multiple inheritance by using interface in Java. Let me make a simple interface. Let it be interface one. So already we know that already we have discussed in our previous video inside interface. I can declare a abstract method as well as I can declare a variable. And already we know that by default interface variables are a public, static and final. So finally this is my interface one. It is having one public, static, final variable A and the value is 10. Let me create one more interface. Let it be interface two. And in the two interface also, I'm just declaring one more variable. Let it be int b equal to 20. And by default, interface variables all are public, static and final. So now I have two interface, interface 1 and interface 2. Let me create one more interface. Let it be 3, which is extending, which is inheriting property from interface 1 as well as 2. Finally, you can look at the code. Previously, in our previous video, we have implemented an interface with a normal class. So, which means class 2 interface. In between interface and class, I will be using a keyword implements. Between interface and interface, I can go for an extends keyword to achieve inheritance. So finally, you can look at the code interface 3. It is inheriting a property from more than one super interface. So nothing but subclass is having multiple super class. So I can say it's a multiple inheritance. Also, I'm using a keyword extends, nothing but inheritance. So finally, three is getting interface three is getting functionality from or it is inheriting a property from interface one as well as two, two super interface, nothing but multiple inheritance. Now, let me make one abstract method in the interface three. Let it be sum. As we discussed in the previous video, by default, interface methods all are public and abstract. So that's why I no need to specify abstract keyword to declare abstract method in interface because it is optional. Yes, by default, it is an abstract method. 
so now my multiple inheritance is over with the help of pi interface so now as we discussed in our previous video i need to provide a definition for some method so what i will do i will come with a normal class let it be class normal class since it's a class i have to implement interface 3 is having all the functionality yes interface 3 is getting functionality from interface 1 as well as 2 so that's why it is enough to implements only interface 3 we are inside interface 3 i have a interface 1 2 plus its own functionality and as we are already familiar the implementing class must provide a definition for all the abstract method from the interface and by default interface methods all are public so which means i cannot reduce the visibility so i will make it as public and i am just displaying a simple uh, statement to display the addition value i will say a plus b from interface 1 as well as interface 2 finally in my normal class i have provided definition for my interface abstract method sum so now as usual i can create a object of my normal class help of my normal class object i can call my sum method so which will be performing addition of a and b nothing but 10 plus 20 it will display 30 let us run this code and will verify our output yes it is displaying my output in a expected way so oh friends so we are clear how to achieve multiple inheritance by using interface in java if you remember our uh, one of our previous video we have discussed why java does not support multiple inheritance so java is not supporting multiple inheritance in case of class because of ambiguity issue to overcome that ambiguity issue i have to come with a virtual base class concept like c++ but java want to be a simpler than c++ so that's why they don't they don't want to uh, get the virtual base class concept so that's why they have removed multiple inheritance in java but we have a solution with the help of interface i can achieve multiple inheritance here also there is a possibility of ambiguity issue let me make these variable as same name in interface 1 and in interface 2 i have a same variable name a so here i am trying to perform the addition of a plus a my intention is one a i am going to call from interface 1 another a i want to call from interface 2 so here also i am getting the same ambiguity issue you can look at the error message it's very clearly saying that the field a is ambiguous so finally finally in interface also there is a possibility of ambiguous issue in case of multiple inheritance but in interface there is a solution so that's why java is allowing us to create a multiple inheritance by using interface how to resolve this ambiguous issue i have to tell to my compiler this is the variable from interface 1 
and this is a variable from interface 2 how to tell that to my compiler so very simple by default interface variable all are static so we know that static property can run without object which means I can call the static property by using the interface name itself. I can say 2.a. Now you can see I can overcome that ambiguity issue. So this is the reason by default interface variable all are static to overcome this ambiguity issue without using virtual base class concept so let me run and check my output yes i am getting output in a expected manner so hope friends we are clear how to achieve multiple inheritance by using interface in java and also we understood how to overcome this ambigu ambiguous issue in case of interface. So thanks friends for watching this video. If you like this video, please subscribe and click on the bell symbol so that as soon as I upload new video, you will be getting the notification. Also you can share it with your friends.